Hey, welcome back. I'm glad you're able to join me for the final part of how to build an app in a Sodi Snap. Previously, we covered the initial setup of your Sodi Snap app, explored the different widgets and what they do, and added logic to our app using Blockly visual programming. Now that we've finished building our app, it's time to publish it and get it installed onto the mobile device of your choice. If you haven't watched the first three videos in this series, you should do that first. Let's continue building our app. We'll be using an Android tablet to install our new app, but first you'll need to publish it. To begin publishing your app, click on the Publish button in the top toolbar of the App Editor. It's the icon that looks like a paper plane. The Publish Settings menu lets you assign a version number to your app build so you can keep track between updates. You can add notes regarding the changes in the version being published, and the Groups function allows you to publish to multiple groups in your organization. If you don't have a group created, click on the ellipses and create a new group to publish your app to a specific set of users. We'll create a new group and call it Rocket Code Transportation. The data sync settings allows you to decide whether data from the app should be synchronized back to the device or simply one way to the server. And lastly, if you enable the retain record option, it allows you to keep any app data from previous versions of your app. We're ready to click publish. We're not done yet. Now we need to get our app onto a mobile device. You'll need to add an enrollment rule for the group you just created. This provides the users you want using your app the ability to receive the apps you publish to their group. Navigate to the Sodi Snap console and click on the Devices tab. Click on the Enroll drop-down button and click Using Enrollment ID. You can also provide access to your apps via user emails or authenticate enrollment through Azure AD integration. Give your enrollment ID a name that indicates who the group of users are or provides a descriptor of their group. You'll need to give the devices using your app a prefix so you can better manage different user groups once you've got multiple apps for different departments. We'll name this enrollment ID Rocket Code Delivery and assign the driver device prefix. You can also assign a device limit if you only want a set number of devices to have access to this app. We'll leave this blank for now, which means an unlimited number of devices can use this enrollment ID. In the drop-down menu under Group Name, choose Rocket Code Transportation. You'll choose the group that you created when you published your app. There are only a few more steps before you're ready to start using your new app. This is the enrollment ID you will need to provide your users so they can access the apps assigned to them. You can also provide users the QR code they can scan when logging into Sodi Snap, which populates the enrollment ID. On the device, navigate to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Search for Sodi Snap and tap to install. You'll only need to install Sodi Snap once on each device, and you can access all the apps that you publish to each mobile device directly from the Sodi Snap app. Enter the enrollment ID you created with your Add Device rule, and Sodi Snap will automatically sync with the server once logged in. Once your app menu refreshes, you'll see your new app ready to use. When app updates are published, your users simply need to swipe down from the top of the app menu screen to force a refresh or wait for the automatic updates. You can share enrollment IDs with the user groups that need access to the apps that are assigned to them. Repeat the steps for any Android mobile device, iPhone, and iPad that needs access to the Sodi Snap apps you build. Now that we've covered the Sodi Snap app building basics, it's time for you to start building your own. Sodi Snap can help you build line of business apps to solve your organization's challenges around manual and paper processes. Skip the traditional app building processes and forget about lengthy development times and a lack of skilled developers. In a matter of minutes, I've shown you how you can build your own Sodi Snap app and start using it on your mobile devices. And you didn't have to code. Sodi Snap empowers organizations to build the mobile apps they need quickly and cost efficiently without the need for specialized resources. To learn more about how the Sodi One platform reduces the cost, complexity, and downtime of your business-critical mobile and IoT operations, visit www.sodi.net.